I really love the Lord. I really love the Lord. He's been so good to me. He gave me the victory. That's why I love him. I love him. I love the Lord. I really love the Lord. Come on, help me say that. I really love the Lord. Hmm. He's been, been so good to me. For he gave me the victory. Come on, help me. I really love him. Do you love him? Hmm. I really love him. Yes, I do. I really love him. Hmm. I really love the Lord. Come on, very simple song. Come on. I really love the Lord. Hmm. For he's been, hallelujah, so good to me. And he gave me the victory. I really love him. Hey! <laughs> I really love him. Wonder do I have a witness? I really love him. Thank you, Lord. I love the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Good morning, good morning. Simply the word church. Ah! Church without walls. God help me today. Ah, I made up my mind. I'm going to praise him. Mm. If I have to praise him all by myself. <laughs> ah. It looked like I got a little help this morning from Sister Deborah McNeely. Tuesday Touch Part 2, 12 high noon today. She says she loved the Lord. Amen. Sister Barb, she says she loved the Lord. Good morning to you all. God bless everybody. Praise the name of the Lord. As you can see, y'all, we're getting ready to pray. But as you can see on Facebook, we are gearing up for our 11th year church anniversary. 11th year church anniversary. We are gearing up. It will be on May 7th. Yes, that's right around the corner. That's right around the corner. May 7th, 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, guest preacher will be Pastor Rodney Freeman. Uh, he's been a great support to our church over the years, and, um, and we certainly want to uh, allow him to come in. And uh, he comes anyway, amen. He and his wife have been a great support and we want him to come in and bless us with an encouragement, encouraging word. Our theme this year is one word, inspired, inspired. Write that down, inspired. That's our theme. Uh, Deacon Rob Jr. has been pushing it on the 12 noon broadcast, our 62nd national prayer call, um, every platform you're hearing about this, it's a really big deal, <laughs> all right? That's why you're hearing about it so much. It's a big deal. Uh, last year, we celebrated 10 years virtually, um, an entire weekend. That was a great milestone in our church, 10 year anniversary, this year, 11 year anniversary, amen. We will be in person, we'll be on site. Uh, the site this this time, this celebration will be the Hickory Grove Missionary Baptist Church, 
10115 Gonzalez Road, St. Francisville, Louisiana. That's where we will be this year, May 7th. Amen. And um, be the will of God. We're going to hear more about that uh, as this um, goes on today before we leave. You're going to hear more about it. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> we want everybody to come. Um, praise God. We said it at that time, so give everybody time enough to do your little Saturday morning running around if you have to. Go get your groceries. You know, when I, where I'm from, they say, make, make groceries. They say, <laughs> I'm going to make groceries. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. 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 <laughs> Uh, that means to go purchase groceries, whatever that means. <laughs> Amen. Uh, so, you know, your little errands and things like that. And come on up the road there. Uh, St. Francisville, Louisiana, about 30 miles north of Baton Rouge. Not very far. Just come on up. Amen. Drive in, fly in, whatever you need to do. We will be in the house celebrating Jesus and telling him thank you. Amen. 11 impactful years of ministry and we're not finished we're still moving we're still doing what the lord said do the song perhaps have counted us out but we're still here come on amen but we're still tell your neighbor we are still here thanks be unto god we are still here amen praise the name of the lord and um and we're thankful unto him and we bless his name. Amen. That's why I love him. Amen. That's why the Lord, that song has been in my spirit all morning. <clears throat> I love him. I do. I love the Lord. I love him. He heard my cry. Pitied every groan. As long as I live. Come on, somebody. Where trouble rise. Uh, we'll hasten unto. Amen. Amen. Let us go on this morning. We're getting ready to go. We're getting ready to move on if we can. Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ. We thank you today. We bless your name. And Lord, we, we, we thank you for every person under the sound of my voice, every person on Facebook, YouTube, prayer line. God, we thank you today. We pray now that you would lend us the visitation of thine Holy Spirit, even now as we go forward. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, let's go into the word of the Lord. How about that? Let's go to the word of the Lord. Amen. We're in chapter six, Leviticus, right? In this series entitled, The Great Offerings. The Great Offerings. Write that down. The Great Offerings. Okay. All right. We've um, come through great series. There we come through series in Genesis and then we come through Exodus, amen. Uh, we come through the great deception, the great redemption, and all of that. And then now we come through, uh, we're in this series entitled The Great Offerings, okay? Now we'll drop down today, brothers and sisters, in uh, verse number 12. Verse number 12, you with me? Verse number 12, all right? As we've already identified on this past Friday that this chapter six begins by dealing with restitution. Write that word down, restitution, okay? It's closely relative to the word restoration, which 2022 is the year of restoration, by the way, all right? Amen. God said he's going to restore some stuff. He's going to restore some relationships. Come on. It's going to restore uh, not only relationships, it's going to restore uh, some situations, some circumstances. Come on. He's going to bring forth restoration. This, this is the year of restoration. Amen. And now we are talking about the burnt offering, the burnt offering, getting ready to just go into the meat offering, but let's close out the burnt offering here. Verse 12 says, and the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it in it. We talked on Friday about the ashes, okay? And we identified the fact that um, ashes are meant for nothing mm. but to be thrown away. Come on. It's trampled upon. You can't do nothing with ashes. Hello. 
<laughs> Amen. And we talked about that in verse 11, carry forth the ashes without the camp into a clean um, uh, place. Amen. Verse 12, and the fire from the altar shall be burning in it. It shall not be put out. Don't miss that. It shall not be put out. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning. Mm. Burn wood on the altar every morning and lay the burnt offering in order upon it. And he shall burn thereon the fat of the peace offerings. You see that? So <clears throat> the whole idea here, brothers and sisters, is that the fire that's, that burns, watch this, the fire that burns was never to go out. Hmm. Never to go out. Jeremiah said, just like fire, ah, that is shut up in my bones. Amen. Jeremiah said, in other words, I, try, I tried to quench it. Come on. I tried to put it out. Amen. But the fire just would not go out. The fire would not uh, be distinguished, uh, uh, extinguished. Amen. Uh, that's why we call it a fire extinguisher. Come on. That word extinguish means to put it out. Come on, somebody. Hello. Amen. Every home ought to have a fire extinguisher. Come on, somebody. Just in case. But can I tell you, uh, amen, at the altar, there should never be a fire extinguisher. Write that down. Write it down. Not at the altar of the Lord. Ain't no fire. Amen. Because the fire is to keep on burning. That's the whole intent of it. Amen. And, and granddaddy over in the corner, granddaddy, when you reach the mic to him, granddaddy would say it like this. And the fire just keep on burning. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Y'all know granddaddy would let you know, amen. The fire just keep on burning. Burning. Good morning to you, Dr. L. Wanted Bennett. Houston, Texas is in the house. Monday manner. My God, my God. Don't you? I, I hope you didn't miss it yesterday. 12 high noon. I hope you didn't. <laughs> Amen. Always offering us manna from heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. So the fire that burned, the whole intent of it was for it to never be put out, never to go out, never to be put out. Amen. Never to be extinguished. It was to forever burn. And now it testified, uh, Sister A.J. John, we're praying for you, baby. God bless your heart. We love you in the Lord. Amen. Going through so much, but part of our family, but she's keeping her faith in the Lord Jesus. Good God Almighty. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so this testified of two things, brothers and sisters. On one hand, it testified of the uh, uh, the 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 unceasing, uh, uh, never-ending delight uh, in God that we should have. We should always have, on one hand, uh, uh, an unceasing, a never-ending delight in God. The fire that we have should never go out. It doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter your circumstance. Doesn't matter in the midst of sickness, death, whatever. And I tell folk all the time, I just told them this weekend, uh, death is never easy. I don't care who you are. Okay, how saved you are, how long you've been in church, okay, what your mama name, your granddaddy name, I don't care. Death is never easy. It doesn't matter if you kind of somewhat prepared for it and, you know, amen, you brace yourself. Uh, when death happens, come on, somebody, it's never easy. Uh, you can you better deal with it. It's better being true, better have a relationship with the Lord. Now I'm gonna say that. Amen. It's better to have a relationship with Jesus. Uh, amen. You can deal with it better, but but it's never easy. It does not matter, y'all, what you're going through. The fire should keep on burning. It should keep on but even in the midst of your tears, even in the midst of your heartaches and pain, the fire should. So, in other words, uh, on one hand. It, 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 this fire testifies of the never-ending delight, all right, uh, uh, in the Lord that we should have. Of course, that's 
attached to, and the reason why we're, we're never ending, have, have never ending the light in the Lord, the reason is because of the sacrifice of Jesus at the cross. All right? Amen. When you go through hell and high water, you should always, even in those times, keep in mind what Jesus did for you. Make it personal what he did for you at the cross. Okay? And then on the other hand, it testified of the uh, never-ending uh, hatred or, uh, amen, or, or, or rejection, let me use that word, that we should, that we should have for sin, S-I-N. We should, we should always try our best to reject sin. You with me? As a child of God, always reject it. Come on, somebody. Amen. So the fire um, uh, testifies of the atonement of Jesus Christ and also the wrath of God. Because when we commit sin, we got to answer to God for that. All right. Amen. So it's a twofold uh, 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 meaning there with the fire. 13. God bless you, Sister Diane A. Williams in the house. The fire shall, it shall ever be burning upon the altar. It should never go out. Y'all see it? The fire, verse, th verse 13, actually verse 13 sums up verse 12. Come on. Verse 13, tell your neighbor. Verse 13 sums up verse 12. The fire should ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Amen. And this is the fire that consumed the burnt offering. Are y'all with me? And it was never to go out. It is an uh, ever-burning fire. That's why Jeremiah said it's just like fire. <laughs> that is shut up in my, in my bone, all right? Now, in other words, Jeremiah was speaking of the internal burning that he had for God. Are y'all with me? Amen. It wasn't just like here Jeremiah was burning up. You could see, literally see fire coming from his physical body. No, that's not what he meant. He meant that it was an internal, he was re referencing the internal burning for the Lord. Amen. That, that uh, even though, even when Jeremiah tried to put it out, it wouldn't go out. I'm so serious with you, man. I'm so, I mean, if you really love him, come on. It, it won't go out. <clears throat> it won't go out, Dr. Fred Whaley. Princeton, Texas, it won't go out. Come on. <clears throat> Amen. Have you ever been in worship service in the midst of a worship experience? Watch this. The choir has sat down. The musician has stopped playing, but you're still giving God praise. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Why? Because your praise should not be uh, 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 confined uh, with, with, within the actual the, the song that's amen that's being offered by the music ministry. Yo, that fire should always continue to burn. Come on. And that's why you should love it. I told y'all, I told y'all when we first walked in, come on. I really love the Lord. I told y'all that. I really love the Lord. He's been so good to me. And he gave me, Lord, help me, the victory. That's why I love him. Hey! Oh, Jesus. All right, 14 uh, begins to deal with the meat offering, M-E-A-T, meat offering. And this is the law of the meat offering. The sons of Aaron, remember Aaron, remember him? Amen. If you haven't talked about Aaron in a little while, remember Aaron was the high priest and his sons were uh, priests as well, but they served, uh, they, they served um, somewhat under him under his tutelage. These were his biological sons, by the way. Uh, amen. And, um, but, but Aaron was the high priest, okay? And so uh, 15, uh, 14, and this 
is the law of the meat offering. The sons of Aaron shall offer it before the Lord, <clears throat> before the altar. So as we shall see here, brothers and sisters, the meat offering, um, just like all the other offerings actually, uh, but the meat offering uh, first and foremost was to be offered unto the Lord, okay? And then offered unto man or to the people as uh, the need arises, okay? First and foremost, you get this now, don't miss this. The meat offering just as, but it's specified here concerning the meat offering. The meat offering was first and foremost intended to be offered unto the Lord. Amen. Amen goes right there. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> amen. We should offer unto God. That's why I tell people all the time, I've said this for years. In ministry, you can't see people. I don't walk out to church because I'm going to clean that up in a moment. <laughs> don't take that and run with it. <laughs> Amen. I'm, I'm going to expound on that in a moment. You stay in church. Let me repeat myself before I expound on it. In ministry, you cannot see people. You can't. People will mess you up, man. You got to see Jesus. Hello. Come on. Because guess what? You're going to mess right. If you mess right, get mad at Johnny. Come on. For some, amen, for some he's done or something you think he did. That's going to prevent you from doing what the Lord told you to do. Hello. And you mess around and get jealous. You jealous of Johnny because Johnny, uh, Johnny leading all his songs. Johnny prayed the prayer. Johnny, you know, now, now you mad with Johnny. Come on, somebody. You can't see people, baby. Tell your neighbor. You got to see Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. So this offering before the altar signified that God can only receive our thanksgiving uh, as we offer thanks unto him. The only way the Lord can offer our thanksgiving is that our thanksgiving is based and founded on the cross at Calvary. So the, the meat offering is actually, write this down, an offering of thanksgiving. <clears throat> the meat offering is an offering of thanksgiving. Write that down. 15, he shall take of it his hand full of the flour of the meat offering. Okay, remember we talked about the flower, meaning the flower representing the perfection of Christ. The flower represented, uh, typified the, per the perfection of Jesus the Christ. And of the oil thereof, which is the Holy Spirit. The oil is the Holy Spirit, okay? And, uh, and all the frankincense, which is upon the meat offering. Amen. Let me show, okay. Frankincense is upon the meat offering. Um. And that, that deals with the bitterness that Christ would ultimately suffer uh, on the cross on our behalf. The bitterness. Amen. The bi Jesus went through something at Calvary. Let me say it like that. I'm pausing on purpose. Jesus went through something at Calvary. Yes, he was God in the flesh. But that's the, that's the key right there. He was God, but he was also in the flesh. Jesus went through something. Everything that happened, he felt it. You with me? He was not all spirit at that moment. He was flesh as well. Every time they whipped him, every time they beat him, he felt it. Allow me to reiterate once again. Jesus Christ went through something at Calvary. Amen. And he did it all for me. And he did it for you. Come on. 
he 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 received everything into his hand. And and as he and as, even as he hung on the cross, then he transferred everything to the hand of God. Come on. Y'all remember he said, Father, into thy hand I commend my spirit. It's all in his hands. Mm. The late Reverend Dr. Clay Evans said that. It's all in his hands. Whatever the problem, it's all in his hands. Oh, help me. Oh, all in his hands. Come on, y'all. Ah! Oh, in his hands. Whatever the problem, in his hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's in his hands. And, and shall, and shall burn it. Uh, so it's Diane William, you, 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 you getting me, you getting me started. So Diane William, this is Diane Williams, so he paid it all. And to him, all to him I owe. Jesus paid it all. Y'all remember that? All to him I owe. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. And shall burn it upon the altar, which, 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 which represented the cross. You know, the altar represented the, the cross, okay? Uh, that's where the offering was burned. That's where the sacrifice was given at the altar, which ultimately represents Calvary's cross where Jesus offered himself as an offering. Come on, somebody. We got to always keep this tied to Jesus now, where Jesus sacrificed himself as a burnt offering. Come on. As a meat offering. Hello. As a trespass offering, as the sin offering, every offering we talk about in this book is represented by Jesus the Christ. Now we can close, we can go on to the next book. We're finished now. I messed around and summed it up. Come on. <laughs> Sound it up. Mm. For a for a sweet savor, y'all see it. Why was it so sweet? Can we talk about it? Why was um, the offering um, so sweet? And 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 first of all, sweet to who? It's, it was sweet to God because it represented our redemption. That's why it was so sweet. It was it represented man uh, being redeemed back unto the Father. It it reps, you know that's what it was all. Do you not know that's why Jesus died? Don't you at the cross? Jesus died to to redeem man back to the Father. Because of sin. Come on, y'all. That's why he did it. He did it for me. He did it for you. So that we could have this awesome privilege that we have today. Come on. So it represented our redemption. It represented also, not only our redemption, but it represented our thankfulness that is attached to or as a result of the redemption. So we should be forever thankful unto the Lord, amen, for what he did. Are you with me today? For what he did for us, amen? Yeah, we should be forever thankful. We should be, ever, be forever grateful unto the Father. All right, so it says now we close out this verse, even the memorial of it, 
unto the Lord. So as a meat offering, um, the meat offering was to be uh, forever be a memorial, a memorial of what God would do uh, to redeem, he ultimately do at this time, setting up the text. Of course, he had not, Jesus had not died yet, setting up the text. Uh, Jesus had not come, been born of the virgin and all of that, and come into the world and, <clears throat> and been crucified in the setting of the text is what I'm talking about. But ultimately he would, amen? So we knew what would happen. We knew what was going to take place. We know it by scripture. That's why you have to always study the Old Testament. Don't just always run to the new, you know. Y'all, y'all, y'all run to the New Testament. <laughs> you know, amen. Hey, allow the Lord to lead you and guide you in your study. Praise God, because the old and the new goes what? Goes what? Together. The meat offering was intended to forever be a memorial of what God uh, was going to do. You know what he did? He offered his son Jesus to redeem humanity, all right? So the meat offering, um, being a memorial of what he would do, now it is a memorial of what he has done, all right? We talking, hey, come on, we talking past tense now. It's setting up the text. It is um, future, amen, uh, uh, before it happened, it's prior to that. But now we look back on it. Come on, do your hand like this, say, look back on it. Do it like that, say, look, now we what? We look back on it, and now we, we know that it is a memorial um, of what the Lord has already done. Lord have mercy, he's already done it. Mm -hmm. Amen, he's already, he's already offered his son as, uh, amen, as sacrifice. Oh, he gave, oh, woof. John 3.16. Y'all know it, don't you? Somebody, I'm not moving. Somebody type it in, John 3.16. Don't look it up. Somebody text it. To, oh, you ought to know John 3.16. Come on, come on, somebody, quickly. I know I'm going to give you time. To, somebody said, Reb, I can't type that fast. <laughs> what wrong with you? I hear man. Type it in. Come on. For God, give you a hint. For God did what? Come on, send it to me. Hello. Lord Jesus Christ. For God did what? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For God did what? What did he do? Tell me what he did. John 3, 16. You may have typed it already. I just don't see it. Sometimes there's a delay um, on my end with all these devices that we're dealing with here. So this is not easy. <laughs> it look easy. God has a way of making stuff look easy, but it's not. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody, I still don't see it. Uh, meat offering. Okay. Somebody texting it to me now. Let's see if I got a text coming in. All right, Sister Paul said, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. That's right. He gave his only begotten son. Now, somebody take it further, that whosoever, come on, somebody take it further. Come on. Come on, type, text it to me. And whosoever what? I'm waiting on it. Whosoever, come on. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Verse 16. All right. We'll see it when it comes through. Sister Barb has sent it in. Somebody take it further now. Sister Barb said, for God's love the word, gave his only glass. All that's true. Let's take it a little bit further. Now, whosoever what? Come on. 16. And the remainder thereof shall Aaron and his sons eat. So this symbolizes that what Christ said concerning his flesh and his blood. Um. And, and, and the B portion, with unleavened bread shall it be eaten in the holy place. The unleavened bread also typifies the perfection of Christ. That's the flour, remember? The flour 
unleavened bread typifies the perfection of Christ. All right. In um, C portion, in the court of the tabernacle of the congregation, they should eat it. So this proclaimed the, flat, the fact that it must be eaten near the altar. Y'all with me? It's a, in the court, in the court of the tabernacle. Okay. In the court of the tabernacle of the congregation, they shall eat it. So this means it must be eaten near the altar, which in essence represents it being eaten near the cross. Because remember now, the altar represents the cross. The altar is the place where the sacrifice is made. Okay. All right. All right. And the offering is presented. Sister Deborah McNeely, thank you so much for finishing that up for me. That whosoever believeth upon him shall uh, have everlasting life. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, so I need to, I need to, I need to interject this real quick and let you know that that is is very important that you believe on Jesus. Amen. And keep your faith in Him. Come on, because that's what the Lord promised. That, amen. The Lord said He gave His only Son. All right. That whosoever believeth upon Him shall not perish. All right. In other words, uh, shall not wither away. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? But she have what? Everlasting life. Other words, if you die a natural death, I'm trying to help somebody. If you or me, if we die a natural death, or if we are caught up in the rapture, do your hand like that. Do like that, everybody on Facebook, do that. We're caught up in the rapture with Jesus, right? When he come back to rapture the church. Either way, don't matter. Either way, you're going back with it. Come on. <laughs> Amen. That's why, that's why when folk die, y'all don't like me right here. Somebody ain't gonna like me. When folk die, stop trying to climb in the casket. Y'all missing me. <laughs> if you know the Lord, I wish I had somebody. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. If you know him, hello. Let me go on. Made somebody mad. Woo! Lord have mercy. Mm. But shall have everlasting, everlasting life. All right. So proclaim the fact that it must be eaten near the altar. <laughs> near, that's where the sacrifice is given. Sacrifice is made and the offering um, is given at the altar. Amen. Y'all with me? Near thy cross. Somebody help me. I took you back, didn't I? Near thy cross. Hallelujah! Ah! Mm. Be my Lord, help me today. Are y'all singing it? Come on. Are y'all singing it with me? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Amen. All right, all right. My glory is ever till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. The river. Come on, y'all. Just to be near <laughs> thy cross. Near. Hey, thy cross. Woo. Ah, my, 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 my. 
Let me go on. <laughs> Ooh, so you ain't got no time to teach. One thing simply the word has taught us, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to get country. I'm going to use incorrect grammar here. I got I to gotta put it where you fit. It ain't got to be Sunday for you to worship God. Come on. Some of y'all wait on Sunday. Wait, no, I'm waiting on Sunday. Then when Sunday come, you get into your little routine and, you know, do your little thing, what everybody expect you to do. What, what about the other days? It ain't. Tell your neighbor. And you got to say country now so they can get it. Tell your neighbor, it ain't got to be Sunday. Tell her. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Some of y'all looking at me funny and say, that man make a lot of noise, don't <laughs> Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I look at it like this, just the way I see it. If I can make all that noise out in the world, mm -hmm. why can't I make noise for Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a track and field guy, you know that's my sport. Um, of course, I love football too, but I, I'm more so a track and field. You let you you mess around, and let me get to a track meet. I'm going to make so much noise. Y'all hear me? You mess around and let me get to the right football game. I mean the right one. Come on. I'm going to make so much noise. Lord have mercy. So why I can't make it for Jesus? Let's move on. Let's move on. 17. And it, uh, uh, it shall be, uh, I'm sorry, it shall not be baked with leaven. Okay, we're going to talk about that in a moment. Stay in church. I've given it unto them for their portion of my offerings. So S there, made by fire. It is most holy, as is the sin offering and as the trespass offering. Let me, let me, let me, let me say this. All of the offerings were holy offerings. Write that down. That's the first thing we see in this verse. That's the first thing, that's the first minister out of Washington is going on to be the Lord. And Lord, how we miss that woman of God. She um she she would teach our teach uh, uh, uh she was a facilitator for our teacher training <clears throat> once a month. And um one of the things that she told us that is that um you know she she taught teachers. She that was her, that was her gift to teach. She was gifted in the area of teaching teachers. Everybody can do that. I, mean, I didn't say everybody can teach. Some folk can teach, you know. I don't, I don't know. I don't I really don't know how gifted I am. I don't know how well I could do. I, I don't know how well I could do teaching teachers. I don't know that. <laughs> but I, I know I can teach, you know. I'm just God to give me to teach. I know that. But but then you talk about teaching teachers. That's something else. Amen. And one of the things that she, she taught us that when you study a verse, you got to read it three, four, five times. When you're looking at a passage of scripture, you got to read, and God is going to pour into you by his spirit. The first thing that jumped out to me when you read the entirety of verse 17 is the fact that the Holy Spirit spoke and said, every offering is a holy offering. And that's something to say now. That's something you have to, you got to look at it. it. You know, the sin offering is mentioning the trespass. Now he's, now the reference point it's driven by the meat offering in this verse. But you see the sin and trespass offering mentioned in this verse as well. All offerings are holy offerings unto the Lord. Okay? They, they were most holy. You see it there. So the Holy Spirit is testifying to the sinlessness of Jesus Christ as a man. Write that down. Now make sure you write it the right, the correct way now. The sinlessness of Jesus. All right. 
because by virtue of the fact that it's a holy offering, that means it can only be offered unto the Father. Y'all see? Because the God we serve is a holy God. He's all holy. He's all holy. See, we're not all holy. Some folk walk around like they're holier than thou. <laughs> but I got news for them. Come on. <laughs> Ain't none of us all holy. Ain't none of us holy all the time. Don't look at me funny. Come on. You ain't holy all you ain't holy all the time. You don't you don't walk around all day with a Bible on your head. I don't know, no, 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 don't, don't start acting funny now. Don't go. <laughs> no, you, you walk in Walmart, you, no folk gonna look at you so crazy. You walking in Walmart, you got a Bible on your head. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. All right, Lord, here it is. This is a Bible. Facebook can see. That's why I say Facebook got an advantage. Facebook can see stuff, the visual. Here's a Bible. This is a, one of my smaller Bibles here. Y'all can see. This is actually just the, the New Testament Bible here. This is a small Bible I have. I got several Bibles. You know, you as a believer, you got to have, man, you got to have several Bibles, man. You got you to have, you got to be like me. You got to have Bibles everywhere. You know, of course, we got the Bible on our phone, our smartphone, you know, electronically, which I use it. That too, but I'm talking about talking about these hard copy by man. You need a Bible everywhere, man. And here it is. You walk into Walmart like this. Can y'all see that? Can't even see it, can you? Because I can't see it. Here it is. Here it is. You walking into Walmart. Okay, that's better right there. You walking into Walmart like this with a Bible on your head. <laughs> and you're doing that so you can prove to everybody how holy you are. Tell your neighbor, baby, I don't care how long you've been saved. I know you're the president of the choir. I know. I know you got a, you can sing it like Mahalia. I know. So, baby, I know you can preach it like Paul. I know you can really say your speech. I know, man. I know. But you ain't holy all the time. Come on. I'm going to give you one example of that. I like to ride my bike. And we'll get very close in a minute. I like to ride a bicycle. The pandemic caused me to um, fall in love with my, with my bicycle. Sister Boss had a lot to do with that. I give her credit. Amen. Encouraging me during that time. And um, she's, an, she's an, also an avid bike rider. <laughs> Amen. And, uh, and, um, Riding my bike and still, still, still now, you know, um, three, four times a week uh, or whatever. Now, I like to ride my bike and listen to music. Okay. And I have my little earbuds in, you know, the little small things sticking you. And I have those in the Bluetooth uh, with my phone connected and, and I'm and I'm on Pandora. You know, y'all heard of Pandora, you know. And I'm listening, not all the time, Pandora, sometimes I listen to Sometimes I'm listening to a sermon somebody preached or, or something, you know, uh, amen. Sometimes I'm, watch this here. Here's my point. I'm moving on. Sometimes I'm listening. Most of the time I'm listening to music. And sometimes it's gospel music and sometimes it ain't. Oh, don't look at me funny. Don't look, don't you dare look at me funny. Come on. Because uh, I, I, one of my favorite stations on Pandora is, uh, I said it on uh, my favorite group of all time, you know. Uh, I grew up with these fellas, you know, we're the same age and everything, amen. And um, my favorite group of all time is New Edition, all time, all time favorite. And also the groups that came from that. You talk about BBD and, uh, you know, all those guys and all of them with solo, have solo careers as well. I don't have to name, y'all know them better than me, no, I funny. And so when you, you know how Pandora goes, when you set that station, Pandora will play songs at random that are similar to their music. So whatever they play, I'm listening to it. Come on. It might be a little Teddy Pendergrass. It might be a little Keith Sweat. Y'all don't like the preacher. Now y'all ready to put me out the church. Ah! 
But I'm telling you, ain't nobody holy all the time but the Lord. <laughs> don't, like the young people say, don't judge me. Y'all hear that? <laughs> I see that on social media. Say don't do. Somebody type it in. Say don't judge the preacher. Type it in. Come on, somebody ain't moving. Put a post. Say don't judge the preacher. Come on. <laughs> I wish I had. <laughs> type it in. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Barb. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Sister AJ Jones. Thank you so much. Somebody type it in. Say don't judge the preacher. Come on. There it is, Sister Barb. Thank you, don't you? <laughs> Don't judge the preacher, man. Dr. Fred Whaley said, don't, don't judge him. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise. Ain't nobody. See, I'm, this tie, all this tied in, all of this is tied in to verse 17. Every offering, the sin offering, the trespass offering, the meat offering, Every offering is a holy offering that is given and presented to a holy God. Jesus was the only one as man, M-A-N, M-A-N, who was holy all the time, watch this here, while he walked earth. Every day, every second of every every minute, every day, all the time. Jesus was holy all the time. I wish I had a church. He did not succumb um, uh, to the temptations of the world. He did not. He did not give in. He didn't. Yeah. Come on. Amen. When they ridiculed him and talked about him, and, and the Bible even said when they, after they captured him, they started spitting on him. Yeah, they spit on him. Come on. They spit on the Lord. What would you do? Are we going to the house? Somebody say, Rev, you're being messy. No, I'm just asking the question. What would you do? Somebody spit on you. Would you do, you know, what they say, the question years ago said, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus, WWJD? Do you remember that? It, it faded out. They don't, they don't say that anymore. It faded away. What would WWJD? They had bracelets and everything with WWJD. What would Jesus do? Okay. That's, and, and so as to say that, that that's what, 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 we should, what we need to ask ourselves when we're in us given situation, you know, how to respond, teach us how to respond to different situations. What would Jesus do? Okay. So Jesus um, did the right thing all the time. Jesus did. Jesus did the right thing all the time. He responded the right way every time. What would you do? Somebody spit on you. I know what you'd do. Good to see you, Sister Frida K. Coleman Smith, Hob in the house. Amen. I'm looking for y'all to come on in here on uh, May 7th. Hey, everybody. Amen. Come on in. Let's celebrate Jesus. 11th church, year, 11 year church. Y'all see the all the information behind me. We'll talk about it a little bit more as we as we uh get ready to close out here. Amen. And um I just want to make that point that we're closing out verse 17. The Holy Spirit is testifying to the sinlessness. Did y'all write that word down? Steady as a word. <laughs> sinlessness of Christ. Not the sinlessness of man. Amen. Uh, but, but the sinlessness, the sinlessness of Jesus the Christ as a man. He, he knew no sin as a man. Jesus didn't know how, what it felt like to commit sin as a man because he never committed. Do y'all hear me? He never did. Jesus never committed sin. Never had a bad thought. You know what I mean? You know how we have bad thoughts. Y'all don't like me. 
Come on. Type it in and say, I've had a bad thought before. If you big and you bad, you that bold, type it in. Send me a text if you're not on Facebook. Say, I've had a bad thought before. Come on. Let me do it. I'm asking you to do it. Well, I can't do it from where I am. Oh, have mercy. Uh, I'm asking you to do it. I'm going to do it. Amen. I never ask you to do something I'm not willing to do. Come on. Let me see if I'm able to do it on this, the way I'm looking at it now. Sister Mary Nicholas, God bless you, baby. Thank you for your support. Love you much. Mm -hmm. Sister Barb said, I've had a bad thought before. Mm -hmm. Let me, um, bad thought before. Amen. Pray for, I say pray for the preacher. <laughs> Amen. Okay, there it is. So y'all see, I just typed it in. Sister Barb says she had a bad thought before. Okay, I said it too. You see it, Sister Barb? I did it. I typed it in. Come on, let's be real. Now, we're not glorying in that. We're not celebrating that. But it's just a matter. It's just a fact. Come on, somebody rub you the wrong way, and you know, you know, it's tough. Yo, come on, y'all, hey, man. Hey, you might not. Have, you might. It may not always. You know, sin is not. And we close with sin is not always. We should. We should know how to recognize sin now. Come on, come on. Sister AJ Jones had a bad thought before. Thank you, baby. I'm trying to. I'm trying to rush you and close up. We need to know how to recognize what sin is. Sin is not always uh, um, uh, something that is uh, 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 put on display as a, as a physical act. You with me? If you if you had the bad, come on, so it's Diane A. Williams say I've had many bad. <laughs> so Diane A. Williams, she took it all the way. I don't blame you, baby. Mary Nicholas had, had a bad thought before. We are not holy all the time, y'all. Y'all don't sit there like you're holy. Let me see if somebody texts me. Sister Carla Evans, I've had bad thoughts before. I asked God to help me with this. Thank you, baby. Sister Boss, I've had plenty. Sister Boss likes us dying. I've had plenty of bad thoughts. God forgive me. Sister Deborah McNeely, I've had a bad thought before. God bless you. Me too. That's why I say y'all pray for the preacher. Pray for me now. Amen. Let us close out. Our time is running. Lord, help me today. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, just really getting good. Yeah, I mean to tell you the truth today. We're going to stick a pin there. Uh, after what? 17? Okay. See? I'm sticking my pen. After 17. Okay. Now, we want to lift our offering now. I want to thank the leadership staff of this church. We had an awesome fellowship on last night. Amen. And those for those that were able to be there, thank you so much. Um, we did what we needed to do in 30 minutes. I think about 25 minutes, really. Amen. Don't take all day. Just do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. Amen. We're looking forward. Now, we lift this offering now. STW Ministry, dollar sign STW Ministry, dollar sign Buck Glen King. Those are the two cash apps. We're running fast. PO Box 166, DS, Louisiana 70727. Y'all should have memorized all this by now, to be honest with you. PO Box 166, all right. Cash apps are dollar sign STW Ministry, dollar sign Buck Glen King. These are our giving options, okay? For the Lord does love a cheerful Giver, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, shake together, run it over. Shall the Lord give unto you? And I know that's right. Amen. Praise his name. Now, we're looking forward now to May 7th. We want to drive that home with you. Because we want everybody under the sound of my voice, you and your mama and your daddy and your sister and your brother and your cousin. <laughs> We want everybody to be in the house, okay? 
Um, it was decided upon last night by the leadership that we will uh, do our best to offer virtual platform of that celebration, whether it be Zoom, Facebook, Praline, uh, whether it be whether it be all three or or, um, or or two of those or one whatever I don't know. The committee is working on it, and they will let us know. But here's the thing: I want you to get. Don't stay home. Don't tell me I can see. You know that's that's what's wrong with the church now. We we you know um, we, listen. We go everywhere else. Y'all really don't like me now. You go to work. I don't understand. For go to work, go to Walmart. But can't go to church. Uh oh. Ah, I just messed with you, didn't I? I'm sorry. You go to work, you gonna miss that job. Come on. You just put your little mask on. You go on in there and do your thing. Come on. Amen. Y'all know. I just tell it. I just say it. Y'all know me. See, I, I'm bold enough to say what other folk they bold enough. I'm just gonna put it out there. Come on. So we want you to come in, love you in the Lord. Now I'm saying that in a nice way. Not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be ugly with you. I don't do that. My mama raised me right. <laughs> I don't do that. Amen. But but I, I am I'm saying what I'm saying though. We want you to come on in now <clears throat> and um make make plans. Amen. Our theme this year for our celebration is one word inspired. Romans 8 and 31. Check that out when you get your time and study that verse and, and all of that. And you have the location there on the screen. We're gonna have a good time. There are also there how there are a few surprises in store for every person that shows up. Um, you don't want to miss it. We're celebrating 11 years. All right, come on in. Take off work, do whatever you need to do. Amen. Amen. Come on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right. Um, let me say this. Let me say, because I don't want I want no excuse. Somebody say, Well, I ain't I can't afford it, Rev. Call me and we'll make it happen. Uh-oh. I just messed with you, didn't I? Call me and I'll make it happen. We're gonna work together, we're gonna talk to the Lord, and we're gonna make it happen for you to be there. Now I just said something. Ain't too many pastors gonna say that. Call me! Ha! 225. <laughs> 202. Put my number up there, y'all. Put it up. Sister Barb, you got it. Sister Barb, put it up there, baby. Put my number up there. Sister AJ Jones got my number. Sister Diane William got my All y'all got my number. Put it up. You ain't got gas money? Somebody say, I got a car. My car running good, but I ain't got no gas. My gas high. Call simply the word. We're going to make it happen. I want no excuse. You got to eliminate the excuses, man. Come on. Love y'all so much. All right. So <clears throat> all that said in love now. All that's in love. All right. Don't take it the wrong way. All that's in love. Okay. We are getting ready to go. I believe my brothers and my sisters. We're getting ready to go. Sister A.J. Jones, baby, we're praying for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, lift up my sister now, your daughter, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Continue to heal, set free, and deliver. Oh God, I thank you that she's a woman of faith. Because you say, Lord, that's something that we need. We need to have faith. And you even instructed us to walk by faith and not by sight. So, God, we realize that, that she's able to see herself completely healed, and we can too. Do it now, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Thank you, Sister Barb. Put my number up there. Thank you, babe. Okay. <clears throat> um, and, and let me throw this in. Let me throw this in. If you do call me, we're not going to broadcast it now. We don't, I don't, I don't play games like that. I don't play games, tell people all your business and stuff. That's going to be between me and you. Are you with me? We're not going to get on social media and say, yeah, sister, so-and-so, you know, what we did. We don't glory in what we do for people. God get all the glory. Sister Adrian Henry, love you in the Lord. God bless you, and I hope and pray to see you. 
Uh, I know God willing, I'll see you in a few hours. Amen. <laughs> Put it like that. God willing, I'll see you in a few hours. Amen. Great fellowship with you there. Thank you. Love you much. Love you much. And I appreciate your support, Sister Henry. You never know how much. I really do. Appreciate it. Thank you so very much. God bless you. Now, uh, we're still praying for my family, Brother Russell and Sister Pearl and the boys and all that amen, had great celebration this weekend, great time with family, celebrating the life of Sister Kimla. She's gone on to be with the Lord. And now it's healing time, amen. God is gonna do it. He's going to do it. All we have to do is trust him, amen. Tell your neighbor, we, let's trust him. I will trust in the Lord. Let's go, y'all. Stand, everybody stand to your feet. I will trust. Send those birthdays to me. In the Lord. Come on. Everybody stand up. Grab your pocketbook. I will trust in the Lord. Send those birthdays in. Till I die. Oh, yeah. I will trust. Oh, help me. Sister Adrian Henry, your birthday is tomorrow. God bless you. In the Lord, I will trust in, in the Lord. Sister Carla is getting ready to come and sing to you. Sister Adrian Henry, um, Sister Carla is getting ready to sing to you, baby. Why? Because you're special. Amen. And you deserve it. Yes, you do, in Jesus' name. Sister Carla Evans, come on and sing one verse. Sister Carla, one verse, bless her right quick. One verse. Have you ever been in Don't forget now, our yearly seed, $222, 222. That's our yearly seed that everybody sows that seed. Some sow it uh, all at once. Some chop it down month by month or whatever. Whatever works for you, do it. And the Lord is going to bless you. Do you hear me? He's going to do it. Amen. Because the Bible said, it is he that gives seed to the sower. Come on. I wish I had. I wish I had time to talk about that a little bit, a little bit further. Amen. Bless his name. All right. Let me let you go. If you meet me. And then forget about me. It's okay. But if you meet Jesus and forget about him, you have missed out on something. What is it? Don't miss Tuesday Touch Part 2, 12 high noon, only on the prayer line, Sister Deborah McNeil. Praise Jesus. God bless you all. Have Love a wonderful you much. Day. Amen. Amen.